the Rhinoceros is one of the most formidable builds in the game. Though they may not be the largest, fastest, or smartest builds in the current meta, they're undoubtedly top 5 when it comes to raw power and defense. Their most iconic feature, their massive, fearsome horn, has a wide variety of uses both in and out of combat. This, combined with the Rhino's other special abilities, make it seem like an overpowered top tier build. But Rhinos have some less obvious weaknesses that might change the equation a bit. In today's video, we'll go over all of the pros and cons to determine. So first, let's take an in-depth look at the Rhinoceros' unique traits and special abilities, starting of course with its horn. The Rhino's horn is one of the most powerful weapons, not just in the current meta, but in the entire history of the game. While not all of the variants of the Rhino build invest heavily into the horn skill tree, some Rhinos, particularly the White Rhino, have horns which can get up to 5 feet long. With the full force of a charging behemoth behind it, this horn can easily one-hit any player unfortunate enough to get caught at the other end. This length gives Rhino players a massive forward threat range that other players can often underestimate, especially when factoring in the Rhino's surprisingly high speed stat. With a top speed of roughly 30 miles per hour, they often catch careless players off guard with how quickly that giant horn can get within spearing distance. Now, oftentimes, one of the main weaknesses of this sort of playstyle, i.e. the kind of build with a large, powerful skull-mounted weapon, is that if an opponent is able to get inside of your optimal threat range, either by dodging your first attack and punishing the end leg, or by approaching from a difficult-to-defend angle, you may have little left in terms of defenses and might just be out of options to fight off the attack. This is not the case with the Rhino, because the Rhino has the best defense stats of any build in its weight class. It has extremely thick skin, which is packed full of fibrous material, making it highly resistant to piercing damage. In addition to allowing Rhinos to spar with each other without risking an instant game over, this also allows Rhinos to shrug off attacks from literally any Predator build, from the crushing bite of a hyena to the razor blade-like swipe of a tiger's claws. Rhinos aren't completely invincible, they're not bulletproof, and can't tank hits forever, but they've got a lot more room for mistakes than most builds. With all that being said, the Rhinoceros does have plenty of weaknesses, the first of which is their extremely poor eyesight. Rhinos have eyes on the side of their head, which is meant to give them a wide field of view at the cost of binocular vision, aka the ability to judge the distance to another player or object in 3D space. However, a rhino's vision is so poor that it can only detect basic shapes past roughly 10 yards, meaning they cannot detect other players if they remain motionless. And what you get is a rhino which can see all of the movement around itself, but is unable to quickly gauge whether or not that movement represents a threat. And so you'll commonly see Rhino mains getting stressed out and startled by the simplest of things. And also Rhinos which attack anything that moves on sight. This of course is highly exploitable. Any stealth based build will have an easy time concealing its presence from Rhino until it wants to make a move. But this vulnerability is also easily exploited by intelligence based builds, such as the human or the elephant. By tactically using items or team strategies, High intelligence builds can easily distract or kite a rhinoceros into doing exactly what they wanted. Whether it be to force a rhino to retreat from a fight that it could have won, or bait the rhinoceros into a trap, this lack of ability to discern friend from foe means the rhino's potential allies may not be willing to allow a rhino to join their party, since the rhino may accidentally target a party member with an attack if it feels threatened. Thankfully, there is one build which does make for a willing and effective team combo with the Rhino, and that is the Oxpecker. Oxpecker birds provide their allies with a low-grade parasite resistance buff, which is an important perk given how OP the Tick build is in the current meta. But more importantly for the Rhino, the Oxpecker can essentially function as the ally's third eye, watching their party members back and alerting them of any approaching enemies. And because the Oxpeckers are so small and agile, they're not really at risk of being attacked by an overly aggressive rhino. Now, although rhinos can dish out some of the highest damage in the entire game to anything unlucky enough to be caught in front of their giant horns, another major weakness of theirs is their inability to threaten players approaching from behind them. Most herbivore builds, even those with equally impressive horns, make sure they spec into a powerful kick to ensure that they don't just automatically lose to any aggressor that manages to get behind them. A rhino's legs are not tall enough nor fast enough to threaten a powerful kick, and so when a rhino gets surrounded, 
Its only option is to tank quite a few hits. Now, of course, their thick armor does immensely help in this situation, but no armor in this game is completely impervious, and given enough time, a persistent predator can still deal damage, even to a heavily armored rhinoceros. This weakness is made worse by the fact that the rhino, like all mammals, has a weak point on its hindquarters, called the perennium. Taking damage to this area can inflict a serious blood loss debuff, which can be enough to bring down even the rhino. Normally, it's the job of a player's teammates to guard their backside like this, but given the rhino's propensity for friendly fire, they can't always count on having allies that are willing to help. Unfortunately, as helpful as the oxpecker birds are, they aren't likely to try and challenge a lion in the middle of an ambush. So there's definitely quite a few downsides that come with playing this powerhouse of a build. There's also some variation within the rhino faction, allowing for players to optimize for their desired playstyle. If you just want to max out on your attack damage, you'll want to play as the White Rhino, which sports the most powerful horn and largest size. If you care more about mobility and armor, you can opt for the Indian Rhino, which is smaller and only has a single horn, but has better mobility both on land and in the water, and is also the more heavily armored of the two. Next, let's talk about individual matchups. First, Big Cats. Rhinos have essentially nothing to fear from the Felid build. Sharp as their claws might be, they simply aren't powerful enough to penetrate a rhino's armor. Big cats kill with a strangling bite to the throat, and there's basically zero chance of this attack strategy working against a rhino, especially seeing as any attempt at this would put them right in range of the rhino's primary attack. Next, elephants. Rhinos are one of the few builds which actually can genuinely threaten serious damage against an elephant. Elephants don't have anywhere near as much armor as a rhino, so even a direct 1v1, the rhino's horn is likely to outdamage the elephant's tusks, if the rhino can manage to get within range. Unfortunately, the elephant has two major advantages over the rhino. The first is its range. The elephant's tusks outrange the rhino's horn, so even though the elephant's DPS is lower than the rhino's, the elephant's tusks can push the rhino out of range and prevent it from being able to put its horn to work. The second advantage is its intelligence. Elephants are especially adept at exploiting the rhino's lower intelligence and poor eyesight. By throwing objects towards a rhino, elephants can easily induce the frightened status condition in a rhino, causing the rhino to forfeit a fight it potentially could have stood a solid chance in had it held its ground. To be fair, it's not the worst indictment to have a losing matchup against an elephant. Hardly anything has a favorable matchup against them. But it's unfortunate that if the rhino didn't have these weaknesses, it actually would have a solid matchup against the elephant, despite the size difference. Next, the hippopotamus. Hippos and rhinos are very similar in terms of their base stats. They're very similar in size, roughly equivalent in their base movement speed, and each can dish out incredible damage. The hippo has higher base HP, but significantly less armor. This is by far the most even matchup on this list, and a confrontation can easily go either way. The rhino's susceptibility to intimidation does cause it to sometimes back down from fights it probably could win, but there are also plenty of cases of overly aggressive hippos getting hard punished for approaching too carelessly. Hyenas. As mentioned before, although the rhino does have excellent armor, the only predator that even realistically has a shot at inflicting damage to them would be the hyena, which packs one of the strongest bite forces anything a rhino could ever encounter, second only to the crocodile. It's still extremely rare for a pack of hyenas to bring down a rhino, but by persistently chipping away at the rhino's rear weak point, it can happen. The rhino has a solid matchup spread, but despite all of their incredible advantages, still end up taking a lot more L's than they should due to their heavily exploitable weaknesses. Although they're able to tank a lot of hits as an adult, their low intelligence stat allows enemy players to kite protective parents away from the low level rhinos they were guarding, whether that be through distraction, intimidation, or team tactics. And with a respawn time of almost a year and a half, every defeat hits the rhino player base exceptionally hard. The rhino build is quite powerful, but I actually think it's a bit over-invested in its combat stats at the cost of its own efficiency. This is likely because the rhino build was originally meant for much colder climates, where larger size was also simply an efficient design choice to provide the player with a cold resistance buff. During the Ice Age, the ancient variants of the rhino, such as the woolly rhinoceros, absolutely needed this extra bulk in order to fight off powerful threats like the short-faced bear and cave hyena. But with the largest threat to rhinos in the modern day being the tiger, rhinos don't really need this much physical force to be competitively viable. 
There also used to be a lot more variety to the Rhinoceros player base. Paraceratherium was the largest terrestrial mammal build ever seen in the game, and essentially functioned as a mammalian sauropod. And yet for some reason, the tall grazer niche is dominated by the giraffe instead of a variant of the rhinoceros, even though a Paraceratherium could easily win a 1v1 against the giraffe. This may be a bit controversial, but taking into account their many weaknesses and seeing how out of place they are in the current meta compared to the Ice Age, I'm going to place the Rhinoceros into D tier. Low intelligence in particular leaves the Rhino helpless in the face of certain strategies. However, intelligence is something that can be leveled up with the right sort of training. In today's meta, abilities like coding, math, and data science are extremely useful. They're tough to learn, unless you've got a free and easy course designed to intuitively guide you through difficult concepts. That's precisely where today's sponsor Brilliant comes in. Brilliant is an online learning platform which uses fun, interactive courses to help you level up those science and engineering skills. I don't know about you, but the way I've learned best is in a low-pressure environment where I'm free to make as many mistakes as I want. Wow. It's how I learned video editing, how I learned 3D animation. And now, thanks to Brilliant, it's also how I'm learning coding and data science. Instead of spending huge amounts of money and getting slapped with disheartening grades every time you struggle to nail something on the first try, you can go at your own pace and see helpful explanations whenever you need it. If this sounds good to you, you can try Brilliant completely free for 30 days. But don't worry, you don't need to speedrun the entire library in a month just to save money, because the first 200 of you to visit my link get 20% off the annual membership. That's brilliant.org slash tierzoo. You can also scan the QR code on screen right now. Yes, that is a real QR code you're looking at. Don't believe me? Give it a try. Thanks again to Brilliant for sponsoring, and thank you for watching. <laughs>